My newest listing has so many beautiful touches, including this barn door right here in the owner suite. Orlando and today take a look at my newest listing and look at this beautiful amazing curb appeal. This is a lovely one-story floor plan out here in Davenport at Davenport Estate. It's a glorious Florida sunshiny breezy type of a day. So this is a community out here in Davenport. No short-term rental. This community is called Davenport Estates and this is an absolutely lovely home. The options that they chose for the home and the additions that they have made are absolutely amazing. What a perfect home. Just a little under 2,000 square feet. This is a four bedroom home. So I love the options that they chose, including this one right over here. So this could have been a flex space. The buyer or the sellers very smartly, very wisely decided to make this the fourth bedroom. So this is or can be used as an office space if you need it to, but it's also technically a bedroom because it does have a closet right behind you. So they utilize this as a great office space, a great place for, for work and a little bit of fun with the kids as well. So just a quick little side note, there's going to be some pieces of furniture in this home that we may discuss at a later date once you call me and you want to see the home in person as to whether or not you would like some of those pieces um, to, to be left maybe for an additional price. So beautiful foyer entryway. I love that. So let's talk about some of the finishes here. Taking a look at the floor, you have your 17 by 17 square tile and this is laid on a stagger. One of the things that I love about this is that it gives you a nice, bright, cohesive flow into the main living space, but that stagger is going to give you that energy and that texture to the floor. Really beautiful. Now, tucked away over here, we saw the first bedroom that they utilized kind of as the office space, but now we have two additional bedrooms and a full bath. So let's take a look at this adorable bedroom. So a lovely bedroom right here. You can take a look at the scale of this room and see how much space you have. These rooms are actually very generously sized, especially if you're talking for those secondary bedrooms. They've actually also added the chair railing in here and they've done a different paint um, from lower to top. Those little touches really make this house stand out. So over here is going to be your bathroom with the two sinks, the tub shower combo. And I love the extra art, the extra trim work that they did in that bathroom with the hooks for the towels. Absolutely amazing. All right, here we are in the third of the fourth bedrooms. Office was number one, adorable bedroom number two, and nursery number three. This is so adorable. So again, this is another bedroom, a nice big closet as well. Again, taking a look at the size of these rooms, you have plenty of room for uh, a full-size bed, even a queen-size bed, or an adorable crib if it's used as your nursery. Now, directly across the hall with an automatic light as it pops on is going to be the laundry room with your access to your two-car garage back behind me and your AC handler over here. But you have your wash and dryer, which do convey, by the way, and they've actually added the cabinetry up top a folding station with drawer cabinet space below, and then of course some adorable shelving in the middle. They've really done these very, what I call homey touches to this home that really makes you feel like this is a place that you can live and you can enjoy and fill these walls with lots of love and laughter. So here we are in the main hub of the home, your kitchen area, your dining area, and your family room area. So let's take a peek at the kitchen. So your kitchen space, lots of cabinet and counters. You have gray countertops, you have the white cabinets with the contrasting dark hardware, which I love. It's a really nice pop, again, uh, of, of energy. And it matches nicely, again, with your stainless and black uh, appliances. And then, of course, the fridge. Remember, all appliances also convey in this home as well. The uh, pantry is right over here across the hall, or not across the hall, across the way. You have a nice big pantry here as well. All right, so your dining area right over here, your semi-formal, as I call it. And I like to call it that because it gives you enough space. You can see here for more intimate seating, you can have a nice table round table like this one with four chairs but if you really needed to you could have a round table with an inserted leaf you could make this a long oval table and seat far more people than just four so great amount of space here but while we're here let's not walk away from this adorable treatment that they've done over here so again these extra touches the extra trim work and design that they've added to this home really steps this one up a notch so you have your darker gray wall with the trim work absolutely a beautiful spot to do exactly what they did which is a beautiful photo gallery absolutely love that so here we are in the family room area again look at this large sectional this is a very big oversized sectional 
still plenty of room here in this room. Lots of room here in the center of the floor. They've even got some cute kids things located around. And then of course you've got room here for your TV and your console. If you can see here, they've done the shiplap wall uh, along back behind me, which again, those extra De uh, depths, those textures that they've added really gives a nice energy to it. So let's take a peek at that master bedroom, that owner suite before we go outside, because once we go outside, it's over. You're going to want to call me and make sure that this home is yours. So the owner suite is tucked back over here. So if you think about this layout again, as soon as you entered that front door to the left, as you entered, you had your three bedrooms. Now at the back of the house to the right is the owner suite. And this is a nice private location still with an earshot. If you have a nursery, but it's definitely a little bit more private on on opposite sides of the home and tucked back away. All right, so this master, look at this barn door. This is brilliant. So removed the door here, added this barn door, which is a beautiful piece of art in and of itself. And then of course it adds that wonderful function here, but a nice big owner's bedroom. And then the bathroom again with the two sinks, light cabinets, darker hardware, you have the garden tub and the shower, my friends. So for those of you who are so frustrated with new construction right now, wondering why in the world they got a rid of the tub, now you can have both tub and the shower, private door here for the, for the toilet area, for the water closet. And then of course, take a look here at the uh, closet. Not only do you have a massive closet, but take a look over here. This remains, this stays, this is an anchored safe. So if you have any reason for all of those diamonds and jewels or whatever else you might have, you're going to have an anchored safe there already attached in your closet that's going to convey. Now, if you are not already in love with this home, which I know you are, we're going to take a look at outside because I am just so amazed at this home, the pricing of this home and the location. This is really fantastic. So out here, you're going to have your lanai space. Now, if you take a look right here, this is where it originally started. This little pass through was the original lanai space that came with this home. So the sellers very smartly, very wisely wanted to maximize their very large backyard and add on. So they added on a tremendous amount of covered, screened in party lights galore in, uh, in the sun and covered lanai space. So much space right here, but guess what? You still have a huge yard behind you. So this space right here, does, having this does not prohibit you from having a pool if you want a pool in the future. So if you're looking for a home where you can potentially add that, this is it, my friends, because you still have a huge yard back behind you where you can add the pool. You've still got space over here. And keeping in mind, you have it already fenced in. All right, guys. So this, again, is my newest listing. And this is a beautiful home out here in Davenport Estates, Davenport, Florida. Super close to all the fun stuff that you're coming to Florida for. Beautiful community, well-established, love the mature landscaping. This home is priced so incredibly well for all of the fit and finish that it has. You're going to want to give me a call at 407-848-8042. This one will not last long, so give me a call, guys. Remember, please stay safe, stay well. And remember, we love you. Happy house hunting.